Jonathan from Rupert Neve Designs, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use your new RNDI8 rack mount direct box. In this video, I'll explain what you need to set up and use the RNDI8 with your system. The RNDI8 is in fact eight separate RNDIs in one rack space. The RNDI8 uses 48 volt phantom power from the microphone preamps or your console mic preamps. Each channel will require 48 volt phantom power, so remember to turn on the plus 48 volt power on each microphone preamp. The RNDI8 has eight quarter inch mono inputs and eight quarter inch mono through jacks for a parallel feed to amplifiers, pedals, or effects, and eight XLR outputs, so depending on the number of channels you are using, and if you are not using the through jacks, you will need up to eight high quality quarter to quarter inch mono cables and up to eight high quality balanced XLR microphone cables to connect your console or mic preamps. Connect one end of the quarter inch mono cable to the instrument, digital drums, keyboard, guitar, bass, or other output, and the other end to the RNDI8 channel in. Do the same for the through outputs if you are using them. Connect the microphone cables to a high quality microphone preamp or your console microphone inputs. The through jack is in parallel to the input jack and is for passing the signal through to an amplifier, pedal board, or other input. Note that you can easily create ground loops here if you are not careful. The RNDI8 is housed in a rugged steel chassis to shield it from hum and noise. If you are experiencing hum or noise in your system, there are two switches on the RNDI8 to help address this issue. First is the traditional XLR pin one ground isolate switch, which is located on the rear and is the same as the one on the RNDI and RNDIS. This is normally effective at eliminating ground hum. The second is the front panel ground lift switch, which isolates the chassis ground of that particular RNDI8 channel from the other channels, the rack rails, and the chassis itself. If you are experiencing 60 cycle hum or any other ground noise, there are many possible sources, including EMI and RFI, dirty 120 volt electrical mains, improper bonding of the neutral and ground at the AC box, poor AC ground in general, or other pieces of gear connected to the RNDI8. These are just a few possible reasons you may hear ground noise, but here are some things you can try. Try pressing the pin one XLR ground isolate switch on the rear panel first. If that does not solve your problem, try the chassis ground switch on the front as well, and then toggle the pin one isolate switch on and off to see if it makes any difference. When in doubt, leave everything grounded if the noise floor does not change. Now you should try looking at other solutions, including lifts on the piece of gear you are connecting, isolation transformers, relocating other noisy gear, or ground lifting at the microphone preamp outputs or the source instrument. Power amplifiers and some vintage gear can also radiate 60 cycles from their power transformers and ungrounded gear, two-prong with no electrical ground, can cause grounding issues when racked near or in the same rack as the RNDI8. Experiment with moving this gear or physically isolating it. If you are using the through jack, then it is quite possible that the noise is coming from whatever you have connected to the RNDI8 through jack, so some experimentation may be in order. Please note that we do not suggest using external AC ground lifts or three to two pin AC cheater plugs at all. Your RNDI8 can typically accept up to plus 21 dBU of level without clipping, and that is the full line output of many popular interfaces. There's virtually no synth, keyboard, or instrument capable of putting out this much level. If you're using the RNDI8 with any device capable of outputting more than plus 21 dBU, then engage the pad. Otherwise, for any other use, we suggest that you do not engage the pad. To reverse the mounting of the RNDI8 so that the XLRs are on the front panel, you would loosen the four Phillips head screws on each rack rail, carefully reverse each rack rail, then remount using the same Phillips head screws. 
Now it's time to enjoy your new Rupert Neve Designs RNDI8 Direct Box. If you have any questions or you want to learn more about any of our gear, please go to rupertneve.com for more information.